Esri is the global leader in spatial analytics, and our software enables our customers to visualize data, to analyze it, and then to share it amongst others. My name is David Brandon Lane, and uh, I manage the relationship that we have with the Royal Air Force and those defense industries that deliver solutions to air forces around the world. Modern air forces of today face many challenges, and one of those challenges is information overload. Whether they are conducting offensive operations or just monitoring activities, an air force is going to be inundated with information. Information coming into the Royal Air Force today comes in a variety of different formats, different classification levels from a myriad of sources. Various IT systems that themselves are disconnected. That presents problems for the staff that actually have to make sense of it. So the solution to that is to have a geographic information system. What ArcGIS does is it enables all of that information to be viewed in a geospatial way. And once you've been able to visualize that data, you can then make sense of it and understand it. So once the data has been visualized, then the power of ArcGIS rests in its analytical tools. Try and understand relationships between our operational layers the air control order, where the aircraft are, where the flight areas are, where the, where the enemy missiles are. And traditionally, those layers of delta are held on different systems and we can't collectively put it together. But with the GIS, we can and understand what is going on. And if we can do some clever analytics, we've got an idea of what might happen in the future. But once you've got the results from that analysis, it can lead to a more informed decision-making process. ArcGIS brings many operational benefits and efficiencies to an Air Force. For example, planning, intelligence, operations, air-based administration, force protection, asset management. Let's say in an operational theater, a target of opportunity has appeared. It's a fleeting target, it's a vehicle, and it's moving in a certain direction. And what ArcGIS enables the users to do is to predict where that vehicle is likely to be, so that uh, aircraft that have been tasked to potentially engage it can go to the right location to do so. It narrows the field down. The other bits of information we might want to know is where is the enemy air defence system? Are we going to have to fly through there? And when we actually do identify where we're going to coincide in time and space, what the actual road looks like, are there any collateral targets nearby, schools, hotels, no strike lists? So very quickly, we were able to answer what was a very difficult question. Uh, so that the commander in the battlefield can look at this and make a decision, perhaps, as to whether the kinetic strike is viable or otherwise. And for GIS, that's very simple. For a human head without a GIS, it's very hard. So what's really interesting about this technology is it's not very difficult to use, and the web front ends are very easy to use and some of the analytics and understanding, it's going to make a real difference and will make a difference. ArcGIS is a very powerful tool. It's being used by defence organisations across the globe. Within the UK MRD, we are working with a vast number of organisations already. We also have close working relationships with NATO. We work closely with the Five Eyes community also. So in short, ArcGIS delivers the capability to visualise, analyse and collaborate. Visualisation of data leads to an improved situational awareness. Analysis leads to informed decision-making. And the ability to collaborate with others leads to a more joined-up way of working.